I messed up. <laughs> About 15 minutes after installing my first curtain rod, I realized that it was not as tall as I wanted it to be. And thank you to everyone who was commenting below saying, you should raise that higher. It would make the room look more elegant, more spacious, taller. You were all correct. I made a mistake. Um, so I corrected it. I think I just got excited with the power drill. Um, and then I just focused on aligning everything as best as I could, even though now it is like slightly askew, but it doesn't bother me too much. Anyway, and to everyone who's new here and you're wondering what the heck I'm talking about, my name is Gail. I just moved into this apartment and I'm slowly but surely furnishing it, designing it, and decorating it. So here we are again. About a day later, I decided to take the nails out and adjust the curtain rod to be about five inches taller than what it was. Um, just so, as I said before, the room could look taller and the windows can have more of an elegant presence. Uh, so decided to screw it in and fix my mistake, plus some patching. I've been debating what formation of record display I want to do. So I threw it into Photoshop. I just toggled on and off the three ideas I have. I have these black cast iron record display holders that I've had since my first apartment in New York. For a lot of records, there is like an inner sleeve that either describes the album, the artist, the intention behind the music, whatever it may be. And that's very useful because it is the exact size of the record, maybe just like slightly smaller so it could fit inside the sleeve. I decided to take those and tape it to the wall to get an idea of what it would feel like. Don't judge me, I actually didn't have tape. I only had these stickers, um, cupcake and donut stickers. Uh, so that's what is holding it up right now. I think three adds height to the room. When I only had two, it felt too parallel to the bookshelf and it made the room feel short. Here are the stickers that I'm using right now to hold it up. Something like that. And like that. And like that. installed and on a Wednesday morning my new couch arrived. A lovely Facebook marketplace couple came and picked up the orange couch and then a few days later my couch from All Modern came. I got a white glove service so they carried it up the stairs, assembled it, and took all of the packaging which was so great. Yeah, okay, that's good. This is good, yeah. Don't have to leave there right now. You want it over here? Yes, this is perfect. It has focus on the bottom, so you're able to slide it easily. Awesome. Oh my gosh, I love it! Yeah, it's a nice color. You got some quick fit? Yeah, I picked it. Okay. Good luck. Yeah, nice face. Thank you. Wow. Thank you, guys. Have a good day. You too, thank you so much. Sure. Wow.
Oh my god! It's so beautiful! <laughs> wow! I had some free time, so I decided to walk around the neighborhood, go to a few shops to browse, including Target, Housing Works, which is a great uh, recycled thrift shop, and then also another random thrift shop. But I couldn't find anything that I liked. However, I did buy myself flowers, some tulips because spring is coming, and then I made a little friend. Hi, kitty. You're cute. Hi. I need to go back and see how he or she is doing, because how cute was that cat? Um, but I got home and I picked the vase out and decided to put the tulips out. I don't know about you guys, but I feel a fresh bouquet of flowers always makes me feel good. It makes my living space, no matter what state it's in, feel a little more cozy. Every time I wake up and I see flowers in the kitchen or just a pop of green, um, it does make a huge impact on my mood. But I'm curious, for me, buying a bouquet of flowers can really change and brighten my day. But what's your secret? Comment below, if you're having a horrible, gloomy day, what do you do to turn it around? I ordered large tapered candles for my fireplace. I'm not sure if it's a functioning fireplace. One, two, even if it is a functioning fireplace, I wouldn't want to use it. <laughs> I mean, I would, but you know, there's so many other people who live in this building that I would never want to like risk something happening in place instead of getting a faux fireplace or like a screen or, you know, one of those small fireplaces, which are great. If you have that, that's awesome. Um, I decided to get big candles. So I already unboxed it, but I'll show you how I set it up and we'll set the mood for the rest of the video. Now that we are in the romantic phase, I'm having, I'm having a pretty good hair day today, I must say. Got this new product and it's treating my hair pretty nicely. Anyway, this is not a video about my hair. This is a video about my apartment. Slowly but surely becoming cozier day by day. And it's a new day. <laughs> I'm editing this video currently to be released tonight and I'm realizing I didn't record a proper outro. So please forgive me. I am learning how to properly film, edit, and plan these videos. So thank you for your patience. <laughs> I hope you all have a very cozy day, evening, wherever this finds you. In the next video, we're going to be exploring more in the kitchen. I've had some some progress there with what I'm imagining and what I plan on ordering um, and some bathroom updates as well. I wish I were more organized in how I'm tackling this like room by room, day by day, but you know, life's kind of crazy and sometimes you just can't plan everything to go smoothly. <laughs> Soon enough, it's gonna be finished. I mean, well, nothing's ever truly finished. There's always progress to be made. I can keep going. Anyway, I'll see you next time. Thanks for coming. Thanks for stopping by. Hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.